Ramble. This episode of The Tripod is brought to you by DoorDash. Use code TRIPOD for 25% off your order of $15 or more. Also, thank you to BetterHelp and Meridian for sponsoring today's episode. Welcome to The Tripod. It's nice to be here. It's another beautiful day. A nice day kind of when you just you go outside and you sit in the grass. And you go, ah. ah. Yeah. Can I tell you what? 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 I've got some birds by my house. Ooh. And I don't like waking up early. It, but except when I except with its birds. But when I do, yeah, yeah except when <laughs> it's <laughs> birds. <laughs> sometimes I'll go sit in my backyard and sip on my tea. Mm. And I'll listen. The birds are active. What in kind the of morning. birds do you got? What the, what sounds do you hear? Because I'll tell you, my birds aren't the cute birds. I've got those. <laughs> but, but, no, I don't have. <laughs> I don't oh, have God. I don't crows. have crows. Ah! I've just got massive crows just <laughs> chilling outside my house. I have all sorts of beautiful whistle, different types of songs, but then also the ones I don't know that I can do it. But the oh, 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 like the croaking, like oh, yeah. those are ravens. No, 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 no. It's like it's almost like a percussion. Like boop, 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 boop. yeah, those are ravens. They boop, learn. Boop, they boop, learn boop. that ravens listen to um, the transformers in power lines and then they mimic them. So there what? ain't no raven, bro. It's no a raven. Way. It ain't no raven. That is so raven. <laughs> that is so raven. I swear it ain't the future so you raven. can see. Because they, they ravens imitate sounds and they sit next yeah. to the transformers and they hear Man, they like no fucking huh? raven. Looking up raven noises. They hear vibrations right now. and then no they, way. Make, they imitate electricity noises. Yes. Let me what? look it up and I'll fact check myself. I'm not telling you that that doesn't happen, but I ain't listening to no punk ass raven. So the raven sounds right. like this Never is a more. normal raven sound. Terrible. It's a normal. That sounds raven. like a crow. That's not like a crow. It says That's raven. That's not what Miles described. No. That a <laughs> you're a crow, Jon Snow. Yeah, what's the difference between a raven and a crow? Three point three million views. <laughs> the pressing question. The most. Oh, I don't want to. No, I don't want someone to tell me. I just want to hear the. Difference. All right, I'm gonna play top ten bird calls that'll blow your mind. Ray, do you have your raven sound yet? No, I'm pulling. So it I can up, prove how gotta, fucking wrong you are. I got a toothpaste. Down. I feel like it's we already did. Up. You're telling me that my beautiful bird sound is a raven when I'm telling you it's something magical. There's a raven going. No, see that? Yeah, that's not. Wait, what I'm that's describing. what Miles said. That's what I said though. Yeah, but that wait, ain't wait, what wait, I'm wait, just, Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's listen to this thing. <laughs> What? Come on. That's and that's a power. Yeah. That's a power like transformer. It's the sound of the transformer out there that they hear and they imitate. I'm telling you that I respect it, but that ain't what I'm hearing, bro. So when the robots take over, oh, the ravens will be able to talk to them. There's a different one. Hold on. It made like. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. That was a cool sound. Wow. It's kind of like a That's like a Star crazy. Wars character. Yeah, ravens are really smart. Hell yeah! Do you know cool. that? I didn't know that. They steal shiny objects. Yeah, I thought that was magpies. I don't give a shit. Magpies <laughs> attack. Magpies <laughs> attack. Big boys. I don't know. You can't come out here with bird facts and then immediately back off of it. It's bad bird facts. And throw the entire conversation <laughs> in the trash. What is <laughs> what is the best bird? Oh, that's a good question, Keith. What's the best? Hey, do bird? you guys know that PCs get fifty percent slower every year? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> Giving up is a, a good segment. Best bird, Keith. Yeah, best, best bird. bird. Oh, there's penguins are so good, but are they birds? Penguins yeah. are so good. They're technically birds. They're fucking cool. Pe little puffins are good. Puffins. Yeah. I like a good um, falcon. Oh, yeah. Majestic. Wow. You would be one of those Renaissance dudes with like, this is my falcon. <laughs> Apparently not cardinals. Why? Apparently they're mean. Really? Yeah. What was the bird you got attacked by in Australia? Uh, magpie. 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 Magpies. 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 Mm. I was looking for swooping, a cool bird Swooping magpies. Swooping magpie. You were looking for a cool bird video. I had a cool bird video on my phone. I can't find it. Fuck. Oh, Typical. Dang. <laughs> and wait, ain't no bitch ass crow. I got some dope birds. Fuck you. I'll record it. Pink right. flamingos. Record the sound and bring it to the pod. This is oh. an audio medium. Hummingbirds. Yeah, they're, they're really my favorite. Cute. They gotta yeah. be pretty good. They can hover. That's S tier bird. That's S tier bird. We just uh, we bought some hummingbird feeders from my backyard. I adore them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're beautiful and I, their tongues. 
I mean, anything that's got a really long tongue, you gotta love it. <laughs> right? No, right? Yeah, no. Just, no. I, no. Just, they basically Thumb. like tongue fuck flowers. Oh, I yeah. definitely Jesus love. Jesus Christ, Keith. Preach. Oh, I definitely love. On a recent episode, I don't know if you heard, we talked about something really inappropriate, and it was we talked about it for too long, so I couldn't bleep it, so I included the I whole heard. Kirby blowjob segment. Oh, say that went out. It went into My the episode. I made a disclaimer thrilled. that was like, hey, if you're listening with these kids, you gotta move forward four minutes. I, uh, Dude, I, I didn't get that any one? tweets about <laughs> that. Gone. You yeah, bring it up. And it was just about... <laughs> you know I brought it up. Niles is a producer. I was like, hey, guys, the next <laughs> section's kind of gross and inappropriate. So if you have kids, maybe don't listen. And then it goes by saying... And then it just cuts immediately to Miles saying... What if Kirby could give you a blowjob? Like, so it's like you are warning the audience. It makes it sound like we are out of control, and it's your fault. It's a hundred percent your fault. Uh, but I did uh, look up true. Kirby porn, and it's hilarious. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, it was hilarious. hilarious. Okay. Yeah, it's hilarious. Ned wouldn't have standed for it if he was on the show. He would have standed. He wouldn't have standed. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm. I think that that's a great question. Yeah. But Which anyway. Super Smash Brothers character <laughs> no, gives the best? <laughs> no, Beach. Not That's again. a good BuzzFeed it's listicle. Obviously, <laughs> King DDD. Yeah, it's clearly Whoa. DDD or Ice Climbers. I don't know. I don't know. If you, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to beat, but Ice Climbers is definitely good. Be cold. <laughs> be cold, but there's two of them. I don't. Know, <laughs> I, mean, I, don't I, I get why. Wow. I get that there's two. You of You know, them. in Fifty Shades of Grey, when she does that little ice cube trick yeah he does mm -hmm. yeah. i remember meeting cosmopolitan mm -hmm. that i found in the recycling trash uh when i was like 10 years old yeah what did it say and it was like hot sex tips and i was like this is gonna be so crazy right. and i read it and one of them was put ice in your mouth like give a freaking you know something there's very few give something i didn't know the word give us something <laughs> very few times i'll come across a youtube video where i like get physically jealous uh, before I even, <laughs> where we are you about, going? What this. sort of transition is this? <laughs> you um. I, I see where you guys think I'm going. <laughs> Physically jealous. Sometimes I, put, you know, I was told to put ice in my mouth while I went down on somebody. Uh, yeah. So I've been watching videos of me <laughs> jealous. There, was, there are very few times I'll come. <laughs> I, and it was jealous without even watching it that, that we didn't make it where Markiplier made a video that was Smash Our yeah. Pass, the original 150 Pokemon. Yeah. Or maybe it was even more than that. I think it was, it was all 898 all eight. Pokemon. Oh and it's God. just him stone so face. Good. Look, he'll go through a Pokemon. He'll put it on and just go smash. <laughs> smash. <laughs> and then yes. he'll go put, mm, smash. Yeah. That's <laughs> then, so funny. It's what a brilliant <laughs> it's concept. Good. Oh, it's wow. good. That's really funny. I think we could just copy that, but just do all Nicktoons. Oh, oh, they're, <laughs> they're all, all children. children. All children. Yeah, but so Pichu is a child. You don't know that. Some Pichu's of those Pokemon, child? there are baby Pokemon. They're that's literally true. called baby Pokemon. Yeah. That's yeah. True. So yeah. there you well, then pass. That. That's exactly. We'll just pass on. <laughs> you're gonna, so okay. we're going to do Smash or Pass Nicktoons and pass on. Well, all all of them. Them. <laughs> I might fuck Stu Pickles. Well, uh, some of the parents. <laughs> Because yeah. he's got like yeah. that, like <laughs> that desperation yeah. fuck. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's gonna try really hard. Mm -hmm. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah, <laughs> they are they're kids. They're, they're, they come as a pair, as a, as a trio. As a trio. Right. Anyway, speaking of dating, uh, I have a segment <laughs> here um, that I figured we might as well do. Big flamingos <laughs> are pretty cool. I'm trying to think of something we can smash or pass, but you will. Birds. You go ahead. Yeah. Oh, birds. Mockingjay. Fucking all birds. Smash. All birds smash or pass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Crow. Crows, that's a pass from me, dog. Why? They it, remember your face. Mm -hmm. They're going to tell ever, all the other crows if you were a bad lay. Interesting. <laughs> Every time like, I fall. This guy sucks. Guy's mm. dick looked weird. <laughs> 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 Ah. Does your dick look weird? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, where'd Trying you hear that from? Of, uh, Is that fucking crow talking again? That crow Shut talking again. again. Shut up. You fuck one crow. Uh, <laughs> uh, disclaimer, we do not fuck birds. Yeah, we definitely don't fuck birds. Except for Falco. Don't say definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Once you just follow it up, it makes it sound unclear. We absolutely do not fuck birds. Yeah. No, yeah, for sure, for sure. Don't. No, don't no. fuck birds. No, no, no. I just want everyone to know. It's really important you know that we definitely don't fuck birds. So this next one is called second date or second. Wait, wait a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, alternative title deal breaker or real waker up call. I like that one. Um, so she, <laughs> I made a list of a couple things. How many other alternate titles did you have? Just those two, but you guys can pitch on it. I felt like there could have been more. It, this is basically like yes or no to dating, but making it a cute rhyming phrase. That's a good title right there. Yes or no to dating, <laughs> but make it a cute, cute rhyming, rhyming phrase. phrase. <laughs> 
So I'm going to give you a situation. Now, obviously, you guys are all married. So pos- put a ring on it or put a fling it in the trash. Really good. <laughs> also, I, I, I'm not married, but please continue. Sorry, you're almost married, essentially, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> In God, you're, you're just making it seem like there was like some secret marriage. I don't want people to. Okay, go on. Oh, you want people to think that you didn't. Yeah, you didn't go to the courthouse. Wink. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely didn't. Go to the There's no way. Well, you, you know, fuck a bird on you a gotta, certain date. Yeah. You know, do the right thing. Exactly. You got to do the right thing. Uh, shotgun wedding, but it's a bird. Okay, so <laughs> I have a couple items here, and I was wondering if you're on a first date and everything goes totally wonderful. Yeah. Except for this one thing. Ooh. And then I'm going to give you the thing, and you're going to tell me if you do a second date or if you say a second. second wait, wait a second. Wait. wait let's go in a second. second. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I let's get, get it out of here. A second. Wait. Exactly. Red flag. Or <clears> wait a second. Bag. Ooh, yeah. That's really good. Red flag or white flag? White flag. Mm. Surrender. Surrender. <laughs> Surrender to your love. <laughs> Surrender. <laughs> Get laid or keep it unpaid. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. She goes off on the waiter, but it turns out he's wanted for murder, and the cops arrest him because he's the biggest killer in the West. I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> You made this up, right? You didn't get this from a magazine. Doesn't Wait, I'm like deeply, con- Cosmo. deeply confused. Who am I in this context? You're on a date with a lovely lady. Uh huh. Because we're all straighties, and it's honestly embarrassing. But um, so <laughs> <laughs> we're all straight. It's embarrassing that we're straight. It's and, not our fault. I was born this way, Miles. <laughs> so you're on a date, and then the, the, date, the date goes well, but except for this one thing, and then dude, uh, I think it's just. Slam it down all the way. Second date. Second date. Lock it in. Lock it in. Was the the server being rude? (laughs) (laughs) Well, but he. So the server was like, he was like good. He was like a little inattentive. But so wait, um, the waiter was wanted for murder. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, but you didn't know. So she goes off. She was rude to the waiter, which obviously is a red flag. But then the cops come and arrest him for being the biggest serial Mm -hmm. killing murder while you're at dinner before dessert even came. Yeah, exactly. That's a great story. You're gonna tell that at your wedding someday. Exactly. So it's like bad to be mean to a waiter, but he is a murderer. Is it good karma for your relationship, though? If your first date, like someone around you was a murderer? No, I feel like, mm. wow, a lot crazy. of negative can energy. You that? Maybe also, she's an empath, though, so she can sense yeah, that he's she, a murderer. She knew something was up. <laughs> Call me crazy. Don't be rude to a murderer. That's putting me in danger. <laughs> It's putting, it's putting me in danger. You know, oh, yeah. when you're around crazy, you have to be so nice. You ignore wow. them and wow. run yeah. away. Okay. Wow. I whenever Great like you're, <laughs> whenever I'm around that energy, I just agree. I'm like, you're so right. You're huh. so right. Yeah. yeah I, like I that. used to I lived on this um not so safe street and I was walking to the liquor store on my corner mm. and this dude with like bloodshot eyes is oh. like rambling a million miles per hour, holding a syringe in his hand, oh, no. walking with me, and I was like and and talking a million miles per hour. It was scary. Yeah. But my response was just like I just was like, uh huh, yeah. Yes, for sure. Yes, yes. sir. Yeah. You are so right. Everything and like I just uh-huh. made him think for that minute that we were best friends because if I if I run, if I make a weird face, I'm yeah. like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just mm-hmm. did that until I was around people. And yep. I didn't die. You're so right. I think that's a good point. Yeah. You just got to go with the flow. Yes. And I'm yes, just looking and. for a meet cute story. And I think we found it. That is pretty a whole cute. murderer situation. Right. I'll be right back. We both reached for the bill. <laughs> Where are you Our hands touched. No. Now, Miles, yeah. if they're mean to the waiter again yeah. on the second and third day, that's a you. Yeah, that's if, yes, that's, that's, that's kind of right. You know, that's that is a red flag, right? Just uh-huh. being mean to, to you know, they're I just trying to do their that. job. Don't be mean yeah, to I servers, just, you know. Can't be mean to servers. They just happen to also be a murderer. Exactly. It was like almost lucky. I mean, you could say maybe she sensed that. Yeah, something was off about this guy. I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you think she's an empath? I guess so. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, otherwise, it's just mean to the waiter when we disregard the fact that a serial <laughs> killer got arrested on your first date, which yeah. I think is pretty special. That's yeah, special. It's, special. Yeah. it's worth at least a second shot. Right. I am an empath. Is Eric, where did you go? He went to grab mm. some sort of lotion. lotion. Zach's no, lotioning no, his neck in a really bringing Bowie fashion. And Bowie. Are you, are you getting some atomic balm up on your neck? Oh, this is the shit you told me to get. Um, well, not me. You told the group chat that I lurk on. Is it is it spicy? Will it, it like make or my what? balls tingle? Zach's putting on a goo. Yeah, I live with a severe amount of chronic pain at all times. Yeah, so I, goo on himself. for whatever Soothing reason, the last CBD relief cream. couple of weeks, I've I've had a pretty bad, consistent flare up. And this is, uh, so this is like a topical 
CBD and menthol. Let's see. CBD with lidocaine and menthol, and it gives me about a solid 30 minutes of feeling good. That's, right. that's good. That's nice. So I just, you know... Yeah. I was trying to be casual about well, it. Don't but. scratch your oh, sorry, eye. With your no, other eye. Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah, you can't get this on your mucous membranes. You so you're really supposed to wash your hands afterwards. None of those things you want to get on your mucous membranes. I was at a bachelor party weekend this last weekend, and all of us boys realized we didn't have any sunscreen. You know what I did? I door dashed sunscreen to the beach. What? I'm not kidding. Wow. It worked. I put a pin at where that was. I met my person. It was seamless. It was incredible. Everybody knows DoorDash. You know, they hook you up with all your local restaurants, but you know, there's also do groceries. The ordering's easy. You just open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want it, and your items are going to be left safely outside your door with a contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. Anyway, for a limited time, you guys can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TRIPOD. That's 25% off, up to a $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code TRIPOD. Don't forget, that's code TRIPOD for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Life can be overwhelming, and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. Especially right now, there's just a lot of stuff going on that I think is on people's minds. So talking with someone can really help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. And one way you can do that, and a way we like to use, is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. I also know that BetterHelp, if you don't like the therapist you have, you can very easily switch therapists and that actually is very difficult when you're not using BetterHelp. I've been doing phone call sessions where you're just video chatting with somebody and it's been really convenient yeah. and, and very helpful. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and the Tripod listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash tripod. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash tripod. Don't mind me, just gonna rub my butt. <laughs> got two more. Zach's rubbing his butt. I got two more of those, those shots yeah, uh, in, my, in my freaking spine. It was and? crazy. I don't know. I, I think that it takes like a couple days to even really notice if it did anything. When did you do it? Yesterday. Mm. But it was way more intense than the first time because they did two at like oblique angles around the thing. Whoa. And I could feel the medication go around the herniated disc and hit a nerve whoa. that goes down my leg. So my leg lit That's up. Crazy. It was whoa. like, whoa, this is weird. And it felt just like fire and ice going from the inside of my leg. Ooh. And he was like, yeah, that's because like the nerve for your entire leg is right there. Oh so God. it's going to be fine. But it's the numbing. The steroids. Yeah. And how are you feeling right now? now? Hot spots? <laughs> well, you my wanna, back. But <laughs> you want to be a little nice. Fun and I'm cool. curious Take about this shirt stuff. Cool. Take my shirt off. off. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, fucking yeah. good shit, man. It's good Take shit. It so off. I can't get this in my eyes. No. I would prefer. It probably. I would prefer. Not. I'd, pre I'd prefer you didn't. Lidocaine and menthol. This is my boss giving me drugs. You're not going to be able to read. Enough? Sure. What do you mean, sure? I mean, well, I would do more than that. I mean, it's how big of a spot you're doing. Oh, put it on one side of your back and see if you can feel the difference. There you go. Oh, Bowie. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's going to feel like nothing, and then in about a minute, you're going to just feel like fire hot. It just, just like sure. cool. Is it like icy tinga. hot? Yeah. Cool. I love icy Yeah, icy hot, hot has menthol. Oh, this smells crazy. Right? Yeah, menthol. it smells good. It's like I, oh. icy hot plus CBD. I mean, yeah. smell my fingers. Icy hot was all the, no, thank you. <laughs> it was all like the rage in high school. Everyone's talking about yeah. it, putting it on your legs for soccer practice mm -hmm. and stuff, daring each other to mm -hmm. put it on your nuts. Don't get wet with it on, though. Why? It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Good what reason. Is, what does it feel like? I don't know. It like it gets like spread into you deeper or something like that when your skin is wet. Huh. I don't know. There's something on it. Is like don't put on when wet. Crazy. Don't get wet with it on. Huh? Slippery. Let's do a wet. video called Pinky. "The Try Guys <laughs> Get Wet." <laughs> Ignore instructions. Hmm. And we do things that we're not supposed to do. I wanted to do a video where you do like um, uh, random illegal things in different states. Oh, the the things you're like the weird old laws. Yeah, like yeah. a horse can't walk down Main Street after eight p.m. in this town. Exactly, you can't shoot an arrow into a tree on Valentine's Day. 
mm, kind yeah. of stuff. Seems like probably be better just animated. Yeah, just a fax video. <laughs> you don't break the law. I feel like right, it, it is a BuzzFeed fax video. Oh, it's certainly not worth it. But. <laughs> but. Okay, what other scenario you got? And right. we, we, we He's s- bored. Let's we move on. spun She's the re- shit out of that She's waiter really- thing. <laughs> She's really nice. It makes you feel seen. That's a red flag. <laughs> that's a red flag. <laughs> what? I don't know. I think that's yeah, nice. Do you have a second date or is it a second wait? Let's take a What was the first date? Obviously, it's a second date. I feel like so there may be. not strange at all. There might be something going on. Yeah, maybe she Maybe she makes me feel cheesy. Or you think she's the serial killer? Yeah. I feel like they've got an agenda. Yeah. Does she make me feel seen? S E E N or S C E N E? Like a scene kid. It's really nice that she makes you right. feel seen. I chimed in with the yeah. heavens you people she makes ever me feel heard sad. of. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking to be S E E N, but I like seeing as well. Wow, yeah. my butt is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff you gave me. Wait, Woo. you put it in your butt? I put it up my butt. That's good. no, I put it in my, my lower back, but it is. Uh, I can feel the ice yeah. and the heat. If, can I get a little bit for my thighs? Yeah, bro. Are okay. you gonna take your pants off? And <laughs> yeah, is that, yeah, is that cool? Yeah, yeah. Take I'll them off. I'll blur it. I'll blur it. Okay. I mean, you have a pain, or you just doing it for, for no, the thrill? No, my, my thighs are. Excuse me, Bowie. Oh, uh, you did that workout the other day. Head to Patreon.com for the uncensored version of Ned greasing yeah. up his thighs. <laughs> you did that crazy I'm workout. Still recovering from my Sunday soccer game. Yeah, oh, I mean you'll like this. It's almost Sunday, bro. I know. Well, <laughs> it, it, we have a week off for Easter. Yeah. What nice. Thank God. If you Christ has risen. Day, it'd be crazy. I, well, I, I w- yeah, I would imagine it's not recommended. No, I wouldn't do it. This was, uh, you know. <laughs> You got to get some chronic pain buddies in your life How because does it look on the camera. It looks, it you looks can see good. everything. <laughs> no, you can't. You can see this whole dick no and bees. No I gave, I gave my favorite gummies to my friend's mom and then she just mailed this to me. It was adorable. That's cute. And it is like, it's been really helping. Okay. Now up next, she farts so hard. It shatters a glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. Like, like what glass? Like a, like a pint glass. Not a one. <laughs> Not Whoa. more than three to four times a day. Wow. Yeah, I did. Shock wow. Wave. It's got, a, it's kind of a yellowy. Oh, consistency. you used a lot. <laughs> I just did one pump. <laughs> I did. I will say that I was using it like six or seven times oh, and then no. I read that you're not supposed to do that and I got sad. Yeah. So I'd really try and space it out now. You want to go you get a strong upper thigh muscle. Thanks, bro. Um, huge. Them up. If she farts I didn't know they could so look like that. hard that she's shattering a glass. Yeah, that's a superhero. Yeah, I think it's a fun story I too. Oh, did I miss the next right one? Now. It's farting so loud you shatter a glass. Yeah, she shatters a pint glass. Hell yeah, that's a third date. Yeah, exactly. I think it's like that's fun and good to go. Where also, is her butt in relationship to the cup? <laughs> like across <laughs> wait, the room? Wait, wait, wait. Does like... this mean she's farting at like a high C <laughs> soprano tone? <laughs> yeah. It's something that's it's basic yeah. enough yet. It's like getting resonance sharp. in yeah. the glass. It has the harmonics on top of it. Otherwise, stacked. it's yeah. just a shockwave, Keith, right. which riddle, is, I think, harder. Riddle me this, okay? You break up with her, mm. and then she goes, is it because I farted? It's because of the glass? And you go, no, 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 no. And then she goes, oh, yeah, this always happens. And then she farts so hard that your head explodes. I was, I was very concerned <laughs> yeah. that was the next step, yeah. So yeah. you got to go on a date. If, if this is not for you, which, again, I think is crazy. That's a yeah. superhero. You need to date her long enough to find another reason to break. Sure, up. sure. Or else she's gonna fart so hard. But then you can't be in too long. Yeah. That then that then you're like now you're just breaking up with me. You I can't love break you. Break up with someone after like two yeah, it's years because you asked for, for Parmesan on your seafood pasta. You need. You either need to do it right in that sweet spot or. You need to be so horrible that she to, breaks up with you. Or I need to just die of natural causes before she can fart me to death. That's I'm the other way out. That. <laughs> That's the other way out. That's the other way out. I um, well, I'm not feeling anything yet, but stay tuned. I don't now want, that hand you're gonna want to wash before you touch your face. I know I'm being careful not to. Yeah, like I'm pick trying my not to touch my face. Should we all just pause it and go for communal hand wash? I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I do this four times a day and I never wash my hands. I just start go back to typing and I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm not saying that's what you're supposed to do, but I haven't had any inverse. Well, you got a five hundred dollar keyboard. You know, you got to take care of it. Damn right. That's damn right. It was, Zach's keyboard. It was eighty dollars. His keyboard is nowhere near five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a pro at the sport. Yeah. Because you won't tell me which one to buy. Well, I my keyboard is cheaper than a Mac keyboard. Wow. Your keyboard is? Yeah. How much is the Magic keyboard? The Mac keyboard is like a hundred something yeah, bucks. But yeah, a wireless Mac. Keyboard. With your keycaps? Okay. No, your Maybe key, I know how much you paid and your keyboard I think is probably like 150. 
I think it was like yeah, 125. I'd rather have an outdoor heater, am I right? I know, you get an outdoor heater for that money. That's true, but you're not using that every day. It's I tell a- you guys, <laughs> we got a bounce house, like a mini bounce house for yeah. outside. Yeah, uh-huh. it looks fucking $300. sick as fuck. That's pretty wow, cool. That's pretty, cheap. Pretty good. For a, pretty good. For a big bouncer? For now, a big bouncer. Question. Yeah. Probably 10 by 10. Hardcore fans will remember in the Try Guys Raise Toddlers, you had a bounce house and the kid threw a temper tantrum when you deflated it. Has that happened Absolutely, yet? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's learned how to reinflate it himself. So. Really? Yeah. There's now death, it's yeah. a whole different type of tenter, temper tantrum. So it's literally exactly what happened in that video. Yeah. So you know, like, you got to set gonna, boundaries. But it's yeah. like, I'm his dad. So, yeah. you know, it's different than a one day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Is there some dad stint. across the street from you that's just like, he's fucking making me look like a bad dad. <laughs> he's got a bouncy right. house yeah. in his if, yard. If, the, if our neighbors were, yeah, I think I think that could be true, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not. How's, uh, how's your thighs feeling? Starting to tingle a little bit. I got tingles. Starting to tingle. Starting to tingle. I feel a little bit of burn. A little bit of burn. Feels nice. Feels, Feels nice. great. Feels nice. I don't know that it's... I'm feeling some relief. Like, mm. reducing inflammation. I think it more is just going, ooh, look over here, look over here. And it's yeah. giving you... Yeah. It's just distracting your nerves. That's but that's enough for me. Hey, you know, distraction is action, baby. <laughs> 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 All right, peace in a weird headspace. <laughs> I think. I think. T- can I pose this for the podcast? We should sit in silence more after great lines. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Well, this wasn't a great line. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Moving That's on. Good yeah. enough. Uh, well, she good. makes you a little nervous about whether or not you should have ordered a dessert. Huh? Somebody waiter comes over. Okay, he says, "Hey, uh, you guys ready for a dessert? You want to try some dessert? Did you and save you, room? Yeah, you save room. And you go, oh no, I'm so stuffed. You look to her and she just goes, oh, uh, yeah, I guess we're not doing dessert. I mm. guess we're not doing. And dessert you say, tonight. no, 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 we can get to. And she goes, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I don't think that's a red flag. That's just awkward <laughs> communication between it, two people that don't really know each other. Here, the, it, it, it what got ruined before he even started. He didn't ask." Didn't ask, just go ahead and assume, like, oh, we're not getting dessert. Yeah. Maybe check in, right? right? Maybe be like, oh, you do know, you I don't I don't really feel like dessert. Do you feel like dessert? And she's like, I could do dessert. And then I'm like, okay, maybe the chocolate cake. Well, maybe what I'll if, watch Ned, in this cake. scenario, you go, do you want dessert? And she goes, no. And then you go, all right, yeah, no dessert for us. And he goes, oh, you're not getting dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're like, that's what the funny. fuck? Yeah. yeah, that's a little strange. I feel, Keith and I are making faces at each other. I feel like it's some passive aggression. <sighs> it's yeah, going to blossom passive. into something else I later. Agree. I don't I think agree. so. I mean, I you got to keep a, you, it's a flag. It's not a break. It's not a break. But it's, it's not a flag. Even, I don't even think it's a flag. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, she's wearing a red scarf. A red, she's wearing a red scarf. It's a, it's a red it's scarf. A it's not a red flag yet. <laughs> it's just a red handkerchief. Yeah. I think that on a first date, you almost always got to get, if you're going to dinner and you're paying, got to get a little something. Got it. Yeah. No, even if she's like, it's I just want a you to go, that you're you're having a good go time. I'm, I'm going to get it. And there's an extra spoon right here just in case you change <clears> your <throat> mind. And then you gobble the whole thing up before she has a chance. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then when she bite. goes for a bite, yeah. you go, you didn't order anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's get the waiter over here because I think somebody else wanted to order dessert. I'm probably <laughs> my only like thing that I don't love is if someone like refuses to try something. Yeah, that's tough. I want some people, to, even if it's bad, just try it. Oh, oh my God. You'll get over when, it. Yeah. When we're at a dinner and Keith goes, this is awful. Everyone's like, I want a bite. Yeah. If, yeah. if something's that. You got to taste it. Yeah. You, you got to experience it. Then you yeah. know what awful it is. It was that, that weird sausage thing we had at your house the other day. Well, don't they say like when you your was visiting. <laughs> lining, up, the uh, lining up your level of risk taking oh, yeah, is weird. important in a couple. Like that's, that's one of those like people fall in love with each other. If they're like the similar levels of risk taking. Well, my belly's out. <laughs> yeah. oh, I didn't know that my belly's just been out. Yeah, that's oh. nice. People on Twitter the other day were uh, reminiscing <laughs> that one of the, I, th- I believe on OK Cupid, yeah. one of the questions was in some ways wouldn't nuclear war be kind of exciting that was a, that was a question oh and my I actually, god I, I got to interview christian rudder who who founded okay cupid and that was like i think one of the best identifiers of if people were going to be a match that question oh yeah and in hindsight are you guys out of your fucking mind yeah that's crazy <laughs> the answer is no it would not be <laughs> exciting be ba- oh be my god it's that bad. would be 100 percent bad well i guess you're not dating me <laughs> <laughs> and that's like ooh, something to talk about <laughs> it'll be fun to see what happens to our skin <laughs> oh no. god truly I, terrible everybody's <laughs> skin will melt the nuclear war <laughs> part no but i think it's like the like sir you could talk about a zombie apocalypse type of like oh uh, you know yeah twitter would no be country like, no rules yeah i'm making yeah. memes 
That's the, yeah. huh? What? Twitter be making <laughs> horrible memes. Yeah. I don't know. Be, be a mess. But I, I think that type of passive aggressive communication, total red flag if you've been dating for five years. First if date. it's the first date, you guys barely know each other. Yeah. It's hard to communicate. It's hard to express your preferences sometimes, mm-hmm. right? You don't want to step on the other person's toes. It's I hard think to it's take fine. your advice seriously when you're playing. <laughs> 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 hey, yeah, wait. Hey, no problem, <laughs> baby. Look at it, Ned, being like, what a really thoughtful, real advice. Uh, my thanks, pants were my ankles. Yeah, and I'm yeah, sitting yeah. with my, my boots on the desk. I could, I could put my pants back up <laughs> to just seal in the flavor. Is what it the up? thumbnail? <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah, maybe that'll be the thumbnail. Ned with his pants off. Pants oh. down, thumbs up. T- Welcome to the podcast titled, Uh oh, Ned's pants are off. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. He's done it on a bunch of them, I think. Parentheses R-ro. and other bird call adventures. You remember the, so one of the, during the we pandemic? We definitely don't fuck birds. <laughs> we don't fuck birds, by the way. Episode 182. <laughs> so, <laughs> Zach, when you said you were scrolling through content mm-hmm. on Instagram, <laughs> you just really didn't like it. Um, yeah. No, that that I would go, oh, yeah, let me watch that again. Yeah. Oh, it's, I'd probably react with a little crying, laughing emoji face, and it would <laughs> fill the screen. It would go... Bloop, 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 you know, we bloop. never did make a handle for the tripod, did we? <laughs> no, it's the Try Guys. <laughs> you don't want to have too many handles. You don't anyway. want too many handles. Yeah. Um, uh, she orders the Clams Casino. What's that? That's a keeper. What's that? <laughs> That's a dish. What's Clams Casino? Yeah, yeah Clams or, Casino. I've never had that. You've never, I thought, honestly, I didn't know what it was. I thought you guys said no. I know it's That's also the, the name sounds of like a Oysters musician. Rockefeller. Clams but with ca- clams. What is the clams casino? Is it baked cheesy clams? Clams casino. It's so fun to say. Clams casino. Why do they call it clams casino? Don't tell them. We'll do it without a recipe. They'll have to figure clams it out. Clams casino. Oh, it's a baked clam. Yeah, and there's all sorts of stuff in it. There's cheese on it. There's definitely cheese on it. So it's oysters. This rock like I kind clams, of- butter, red bell pepper, mm-hmm. chopped shallot, white wine, breadcrumbs, parmesan, parsley, mm-hmm. whatever. It looks great. I'm like Zach's like a little pants. Italian, you know, baked <laughs> clam. <laughs> yeah, um, clams Casino great. also does great. some like minimalist electronic music. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They're really clams a band. Casino. My favorite album was uh, yeah. Fart. Yeah. You know, they're I'm not kidding. It is a real. It's a band. Yeah, that's like doing a residency. Oh, yeah. What do you do if they say, "Oh, I don't eat raw seafood"? Oh, leave immediately. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> It depends on where they're from. I'm such an eater that I think it it would affect. I, I it, not that everyone needs to eat everything because I get that people have like complicated relationships with the food. But the sushi's I, so good. I know, but I just personally have such a like loving adventurous relationship with food that it would be, be important. Sarah also eats fucking everything. Now tell me, yeah. Miles, what if you're on a date and someone had a litany of severe food allergies? I think I would I would not be rude about it, obviously, but it would. Be, <laughs> but I would leave. I would break up. I would break up with them politely in the <laughs> yeah. car after dinner. I'd say I have to go to the bathroom and then leave immediately. No, I just think it would be. Hot. I probably it wouldn't matter Fear. unless it was getting serious. And then I would say like, what is this hold back? Is this hmm. you know? Oh, because, you try and change them. <laughs> yeah, I try and change them. I think it's just such an important thing to me that I'm like. Yeah, if you're dating like. From the ground up, you're just trying to build your perfect relationship. You're like, mm. yeah, maybe I would like to have someone that I can share adventurous meals with because that's very important to me. So you're yeah. saying, Miles. Yeah. But if they were really perfect, <laughs> they could. you could probably overcome that. You're you? going to look me in the eyes yeah. and say that you and I have just had a perfect date. We uh-huh. went out to dinner. Yeah. It was wonderful. Right. We we went out to the gazebo out back. Yeah. We danced under mm-hmm. this under the Beautiful lights. Light we went storm. back to one of our houses. Yeah. Had rocket sex. <laughs> oh. It was perfect. <laughs> and you said, you're ready to pop the question. Yeah. You say you want to go get some dessert cheese. Yeah. And I say, oh, I don't eat cheese. I can't eat cheese. I'd say, well, cheese. Okay. Is this going to be a bigger issue? And then you say, what about ice cream? You say no. So I really just dairy. <laughs> it's the whole dairy. And but you, you go, I just say, just do it. Just do it and shit your pants. I'd say do it <laughs> for me. And then you go, well, I would love to have maybe a, a stuffed pepper. And I go, oh, that's even worse. Yeah, my favorite three foods. <laughs> stuffed bell peppers, <laughs> ice cream, and cheese. <laughs> I do love cheese, and that would be challenging for me. I think it's hard when I want to say, fuck it. Let's order another crazy entree. And then but I just gave you the best sex of your life. <laughs> and you're um, there's birds everywhere there's birds there's all, all around the room, room. we're not w- fucking watching them. and squawking we're not fucking no them. they're just sort of a peanut gallery they're a peanut gallery some of them are taxidermy you know what i think that if it was the right person i could make too but if there was any other red flag any other red flag at all Do you fucking hear this if it were the right person in that saying that i'm not good enough for him well zach here's what i'll ask you yeah you go <laughs> 
waited so angrily, but I, <laughs> right, you're, on, yeah. you're on a date. Uh huh. And the person's like, I want to order everything on the menu and I want to eat it. Let's try it together. Uh huh. Is that bad for you? Are you like, I don't eat it. And they're like, oh, really? You don't eat that stuff? Oh, that, that's kind of disappointing. I wanted to share this experience with you. How do you react? Wow. Wow. I would be sad for them. Sad for them. Sad for them. Because it, of you. <laughs> I mean, I would, it depends what restaurant we're going to. But yeah, I would not go to a restaurant. I, I mean, I mm. look at menus and make sure I can eat stuff. Does Maggie's, she doesn't eat stuff you don't eat, right? We're pretty compatible. They yeah. got some similarities. Is yeah. She also is not, she's not eating She's dairy. like, I mean, she's less severe than me, but she mm. avoids dairy or should. To be frank, though, we went on this rock and fucking date. You, I've seen you eat shit you shouldn't eat. What have you seen me eat? I've seen you eat you dairy, seen me and then dairy. Said, I'm gonna shit my pants. You definitely later. had something. Yeah. I've butter. seen you on lots of food shows with shit with butter, shit with fucking dairy in it. You, you so, will th- say sometimes this is worth shitting my brains out for. I've heard that. I'm gonna. Come out of you. Be, I, so I was like, I'm gonna regret this later. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So I've seen it happen. So I think that knowing that you would. You know um, what? Take, You're not good enough for me. <laughs> Be in, if you would be in pain for my pleasure, it depends on what you're doing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a big decider. I mean, Ariel's never even read meat throughout our entire relationship and ever. S- well, I think she ate it as a kid, but yeah. Oh, really? Pretty She's early on as a teenager, stopped go. eating red meat. Yeah, She's from it's never been an issue. In fact, it gets you know, I get a little excited about like eating mm. like oh i get to have the whole thing oh that yeah. is kind of fun yeah and she probably likes to see you eat happily yeah yeah so she's like happy that's fun, for right? my happiness yeah she's happy with your joy and worse comes at worst you just have a doggy bag sorry bowie <laughs> yeah it's actually really <laughs> bring, <laughs> back, <laughs> bring back doggy bag terminology uh, i hate this i need a box i want people to be asking for doggy bags in restaurants i love that time of the life Mm -hmm. it's like can i get you a doggy bag did we stop saying it for a reason i don't know we just i think people were like it's a strange phrase realized that most of the time you were putting it in a box and then into a doggy bag why is it called i don't know i think initially it actually was you would take you would take it scraps for your dog for your dog dog. that makes it a lot of sense sort of like hush puppies (laughs) no you feed them to a dog <laughs> and they take a long nap. <laughs> well, the hush puppies are called because they would fry up dough and say, hush puppy, and then throw the fried dough. Is that dough. what it's from? Yeah, and they oh. throw it to the dogs. And then they start eating themselves like, fuck, these like, dogs these are, are eating good. Yeah. The, the one awkward thing about dating Ariel is now anytime I meet a vegetarian, I assume they eat chicken. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. funny. Chicken to me, I do not perceive it as yeah, I mean, <laughs> the meat. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, no beef, no pork. I every mean, time you say this, I can't, I can't I get on it. board with it. I love well, it. You, you, know call, you call her vegetarian, but she eats Jeez. fish and she eats chicken. That is not vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying it is, but I'm just saying when someone else introduces themselves as vegetarian, uh-huh. in my head, I think, ah, oh, that's similar to Ariel. Ariel's just prescribed get to the, the 1700s version of vegetarian, which did include chicken and fish. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and you know what? Chicken, I grew up chickens. They're basically insects. I don't believe in... <laughs> basically... I don't believe bugs? in... Tor- I don't believe in torturing insects either. They do eat bugs. But if there's a spider in my house, I, I, I'll kill it. I just get into this headspace of like, oh, okay, I'm cooking and I'm like catering for this person that has a subset of needs that I identify with my yeah, wife. I, I think the that. problem with spiders and then Rachel's like, no, I don't eat chicken. Is that we're not exposed to enough cute ones because there are cute little spiders yeah, and little all spider. of our spiders aren't. Mm-hmm. Like the ones with little hairs all over their bodies. <sighs> cute. Tarantulas are cute. Dude, cute. And, when we hung out with a tarantula, cute. it was fucking oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. I loved that thing. It was adorable. It was crazy looking. Yeah. Now, if you heard this conversation on a date, would that be a red flag? Or that be a a, a about sign me up. or yeah. about yeah. chicken? Yeah, no. Well, yeah, I think that one's. <laughs> if you're on a date and someone that. says that chickens are basically insects, I'm chop their heads off. <laughs> no, I, again, I said Whoa. I don't believe in torturing insects either. I, t- 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 hey, chopping a head off ain't torture, baby. Yeah, that's, that's true. They swift. do run around. Best way we didn't. By the way, growing up with the chickens, we did not slaughter Jesus. the chickens. They were for eggs. What happened when the chicken died? Uh, you don't eat a chicken that dies of natural dead causes. Chicken yet. <laughs> you dead know. like died like Dude, three days ago. Why not? What if he died right have that died day? Of a he died right that day. He might have. Maybe sickness. he just died of being old. Yeah, that's you don't want that. Then that's that's gonna be crazy. <laughs> well, can't you make a soup? I will say when the chickens probably. were really you mean. You probably make a soup. Yeah. When the chickens were really mean, like uh, they would attack us. And I mean, chickens. It's rough. The roosters are really. 
are tough on the hens without going into any further yeah. detail. So Ooh. sometimes the hens feathers get pulled out and it's tough. Oh, God. So when the roosters are really big, aggressive towards us, whatever, we would not kill them. My dad would take them on a drive and he would drive them onto the, like, we live in the country. So he would drive out into the country and then just let them into the woods. Oh. And then nature would, I'm sure, take its course. Because they raccoon. weren't set up to live out like that. You think a raccoon no, yeah. versus a rooster, the raccoon wins? I feel like the rooster's oh, got a good shot. Sure. Oh, oh no, bro. No, no, no. Oh, fox Do you not though. know that raccoons just rip apart raccoons roosters? Raccoons have opposable thumbs. Well, I know they have thumbs, yeah. but yeah. Raccoons, and raccoons have beaks and talons. It's going to be like Master Yoda bouncing around uh, Count true. Dooku, bro, except yeah. Count Dooku's a chicken. Raccoons <laughs> will fuck your world up. I'm gonna yeah. Google raccoons raccoon versus rooster. Will rip their eyes <laughs> right. See, I think I'm that not a kidding. Will also, I love raccoons. They will rip their eyes out of their heads and then say, "Can't see me now, bitch." Oh my and god. And then it'll. I think they do that to dogs. Keith, you remember we did a waxing episode. I do. You remember it was quite painful for me. You know, since then, yeah. it's been growing back. Of course. Uh, but now I've been inspired to do a little more... Maintenance. Maintenance. A little more trimming a little around the hedges. Now. So our sponsor for today's episode, we're so excited to announce, it's Meridian, a cutting edge below the belt trimmer that makes shaving down there quick, easy, and pain-free. So oh. I've been checking it. I've been using this yeah. thing. And it's it's designed for sensitive areas. So it's got a 6,000 RPM motor and a flexible ceramic blade with a shaving guard that helps prevent nicks and cuts. So it's it's smooth. I'm telling wow. you, Keith. I'm telling you, uh, Keith. Is Keith? it waterproof so that I could use it in the shower? It is. Listeners of the show can get 10% off their order with the coupon code TRYGUYS. Go to meridiangrooming.com today to get a premium below the belt trimmer. That's M-E-R-I-D-I-A-N grooming. Dot com and use code TRYGUYS for an exclusive 10% off. And it's also available at Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, and CVS. Raccoons will rarely eat a whole adult chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but so it does seem like... They just kill it? They'll kill move them. On. Yeah, we Dang. had snakes and, and uh, raccoons come into our coop and uh, fuck shit up. But we that's why you closed the coop door. We had pigeons, too. We'll Weasels, <laughs> too. What's the snake mongoose thing? Why why are they like mongoose. so f suited to like fight each other or something? Snakes, huh? Okay, I think. <laughs> okay. I went to Shakira's. Shakira had the tour of the mongoose. This was at the height of of uh, wherever, whenever fame, and I and her interstitials were all a snake and then a mongoose, and they were fighting. Mm. But yeah, I think that uh, they they fight each other because I do know it's like yeah, like a betting. Thing, right? Oh shit! They do that. You like, bet on snakes and mongooses. They like, yeah. like in like, like an underground area, isn't this, it? Well, it happens in the wild. It's like, oh, okay. Cool. Huh. I'm sure. I'm sure people also bet on it. That sounds. I mean, it's really cool. That, there's bug fighting. Have you seen this? Shut up. Yeah, I went on a YouTube yeah. rabbit hole. And that was it. your idea. Yeah, I know. But what's small bug fighting? That oh, was inspired. Big that. bug fighting was inspired by small bug fighting. Yeah. What kind of bugs? Like big, like horned beetles, horned beetles and stuff. And they'll make them fight, and then they they like don't kill each other. It's usually like knock them off this thing, and but it's crazy. Man. Sometimes they will. Sometimes they'll kill. What kill if each bars other. just <laughs> have a arcade game called Big Bug Hunter, and you just kind of are sifting Hell through yeah. leaves looking for bugs? You just looking. <laughs> That's digging cool. through soil. <laughs> yeah. In, in your fun. scenario, Miles, is it always the same bug, or is it like beetle versus the praying mantis? Yeah. No, no, no. That people train, but the people train their bug. What do you mean? What do you mean? Kids, will, there's a kid. I watched this in a whole interview. I went down a rabbit hole. There's this kid, and he was like, "I've been training this bug." I, it happened. This, hmm. this was, I think, in like, in a, I don't remember where. Maybe it was in like China or Japan or something. But he was like. Literally, uh, he was like, I'm training my bug to, and, I, and I've been breeding it to make bigger bugs so that wow. I can bring them to these tournaments. They're like, they're in these like poker rooms. And then How they- you train a feels bug? feels like a good act one, know. like Bond movie scene. Yeah. Does it? We train our bugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. It does. And then uh, there's some John poisonous Blaine's bug yeah, that like gets down his shirt. And yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Speaking of kids who are way cooler than we will ever be, I'm wondering if you've seen, there is a, a Twitch streamer. I don't know what country he's from, but it's this kid who plays Call of Duty. Yeah, doesn't doesn't interest me, whatever. But every time he's in this dark room and every time he gets a kill, it turns into a <laughs> full-on rave where he has this fucking flamethrower shooting <laughs> in his house. and crazy laser lights. And he's like, let's fucking go. And he's like, <laughs> doo, 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 doo. 
and it's just full on rave in his house. It is the most lit shit <laughs> wow. you will ever see in your life. <laughs> and really I also this. want this is, this is KD ratio. lasers. Yeah, I need more lasers. It's every kill. Not right. every time he wins a game. Every, you could get 10 well, kills a game. Wow. Yeah, he What's he called? I want to see I'll it. I'll send it to you. It's also, a great I did read that roosters... Uh, <laughs> will get their heads ripped off by raccoons in the middle of the night. But normally hens do because hens don't defend themselves. Roosters <clears throat> will try to fight back, yeah. typically lose, but sometimes yeah. they'll fend them off. If you look mm. at a rooster's talon, you realize that these okay. things are fucking dinosaurs. They're intense. They're really like, and they always, they have a huge like grip claw on the back that gets really long and uh -huh. it's really sharp. Wow. And so they would attack me as a little boy. I would feed the chickens, open the door so they could run out, and then what, the rooster would chase me all the way back to the house. <laughs> so what aim? <laughs> the rooster's trying to fuck me up. Like he's trying to fuck me up. He thinks you're trying to fuck the girls. Yeah, you see, he thinks I'm trying to fuck the chickens. <laughs> you get around my ladies. Yeah. You want to go? Let's go. So he'd come after me, and uh, he would just fucking run. So I'd bring he's a broom. So funny. I'd bring to a broom with me little out Little Miles going. Yeah. Ah! Oh, I'd be in tears. It was terrifying. <laughs> and I'd bring a broom with me because the rooster would come, and then I could just sweep the. I could sweep the thing. Sounds traumatizing. I'm so yeah. sorry. And they still made of... you feed it every day. <laughs> Do you want to get did. dessert? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm not really ready for dessert, but uh, the well, I think they're going to kick us out. Well, never want I'd dessert. like to stay a little longer if that's we'll okay. We'll try, but yeah. he's just giving me, he just put the check down and slammed it down. You know what down. I, I mean, do like mad. for dessert? <laughs> What's that? Clams Casino? A little bit of dessert <laughs> wine. Oh, oh yeah, that's a like a choice. like a fancy port. Yeah, like instead of just it's like, not good, but you feel fancy while doing it. <laughs> it's not good. It's way too. It's almost sickeningly sweet. Yeah, but it's a fun or a end to a dinner. Moscato. Yeah, and I like I don't like dessert very much, but if if there were places that had dessert wines, <laughs> someone else got dessert, I would get a dessert wine and just. I don't sit like and, dessert, but when dessert gets you a little more drunk, <laughs> why like not, dessert? baby? Yeah fun to have dessert wine it's a bizarre experience it's so sweet it almost is it. like drinking a red wine reduction it's thicker oh. too yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's thick, oh. it's thick. and then it's like i uh, still alcoholic so it's kind of you know yeah in fact it's typically a higher alcoholic percentage but you don't drink as much of it you, it's a very small glass right yeah. right it's port like, is like almost a, bordering on a liqueur like almost 17 percent yeah of of booze i will say cheese you mentioned this before really good dessert I agree. Grapes, just fruit. Oh, uh, any fruit. But I've been really going ham on fruit. Cheese, recently. summertime. I've been doing dessert. Time. Zach was telling you, yeah, not for dessert. Well, yeah, for dessert sometimes. Zach huh. had been telling me he he's getting that pineapple action. Don't you put my name in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I've been getting a pineapple. And I will say, buying a pineapple is insanely cheaper than buying cut pineapple, it's first of all. Ridiculous. Unbelievably cheaper. The markup. Yeah, it's crazy. Criminal. So, it's but, work. But then I've also, it's work, but it takes you what? It took me it's two so minutes easy, of work. Guys. And then you get so so much pineapple and it's way fresher because it hasn't yeah. been like drying out in that mm -hmm. cooler. It's great. I yeah. like it like, big time. So I've been doing that. And also, I know that you guys have outspoken on honeydew recently, but I find the combination of honeydew and pineapple. Miles, stop it. <laughs> You're out of line. You get one that's Miles? a base, one that's in crazy. Miles? Okay. Bon signore. It's not a base. Stop it. Yeah, honeydew tastes like nothing. You are not Scott going has. to use our platform <laughs> to peddle this honeydew. bullshit. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of into it. Edward? Yeah, I think, I, so I think Miles has got a point. What about this? Tahini and lime on the honeydew. Fuck you. What? Sounds better. Then it's going to be tasting more. Okay, I've seen the 2014. We're not talking about <laughs> ordering at a restaurant. We're talking about Slicing. getting a good deal. That's well, right. that's getting a good deal. <laughs> Slicing into a honeydew melon. This is how it starts. <laughs> you start saying that there's some fine honeydew out there. You say when it's ripe, it's fine. And then all of a sudden, people say, oh, we can just let honeydew in anywhere. Yeah. We can let honeydew into it. And now you know what? Your little fruit bowl at brunch yeah. is going to be 80% honeydew. No. How you like it, it now? Is. No. How you like it now? It my is. That is not I mean, what I want. Zach, Zach does have a good point. It I don't want to be 80%. That's the worst part about honeydew is they really jack it up it's in the fruit bowl. It's a filler fruit. Don't get me wrong. It's a filler fruit. But, I but find if you're making it yourself yeah and you're doing it from full-on melons yeah i'm cutting into it it's fresh you can you can score up the ratio however you want this is and, a and gateway conversation and i will not stand i'm for just it. saying you know what? what are we gonna what are we gonna <laughs> just squash honeydew Here's what I'll from say. existence you, yes you go to the fruit you go to the fruit cart 
Yeah. You're getting fruit. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's in your fruit cart that's not... So you're getting, obviously, pineapple. Obviously pineapple. Mango. Watermelon. Obviously. mango. Watermelon is good, obviously. Yeah, that's Strawberries. Blueberries. Blueberries. Strawberries and blueberries. The fruit cart. Tahine no, no, and bad. lime. Fuck yeah, bro. No chance. No way. You're crazy. You're nuts. Maybe. maybe strawberry. Try forking a blueberry. I would Try rather. It. I would <laughs> rather have only pineapple. You can do that. You can do and that. And I like, will. Is your mouth going to get is acid chemical Not burned? me. That's my superpower. Yeah, it it's, oh, it's a bit so much if it's only... I mean, if we were talking like you get the large, only pineapple. That's a lot of pineapple. Yeah, I could eat the whole pineapple. I know. I love pineapples. Can I we do like, a video? I like variety also. Do you want to do a podcast where I eat a whole pineapple? Because I could yes. do it. Yes. No, yes. no, I, I, I don't. <laughs> yes. I don't think. <laughs> you I don't think. Next yeah. podcast, I'm going to bring a pineapple. I'm going to cut thing? it. I'm going to eat it. There's going to be so much juice everywhere. I think yeah. that could mm-hmm. maybe work as a 10-second TikTok. Well, you 10 seconds, it. then you won't know. I think it has to be a full-length mukbang. You Speed need to ramp know it. Speed ramp it. that yeah. I ate the whole thing. Yeah. You need to I, eat yeah. it like... Just, uh, <laughs> I could eat it eat it like a corn on the cob uh-huh. a yeah. really uh-huh. giant juicy corn that's honestly that's, that's not funny. a bad idea they does have a core yep you could do it get, get the corn on the cob little pokers on the end oh yeah. that is so so wait awful. that's a great tiktok I think yeah you eat, eat a whole pineapple like a corn on the cob and then you it just you start it, just face, frame it as speed a food ramp hack it, get gonna to have end. a rash I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah it does get a chemical I'm not gonna speed ramp it <laughs> it's kind of all TikTok I'm totally has 10 minute videos I'm now. Not, I'm not. I'm fully I'm not on board. Speed ramp, speed ramp it. I yeah. think that's a good idea. I think it's a really good TikTok. I think it's a really good feature length film. Mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm going to eat a pineapple like a corn on a cob. Honestly, you could do it with every fruit. <laughs> yeah, every, I'm going to eat an apple like corn on the cob. I'm going to eat melon like corn on the cob. I'm going to eat it bananas like corn on the cob. It loses its luster after, like, because apple is not so. that exciting. And after you get done with each line, you make a typewriter noise. Ding. 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 Yeah, that's good. <laughs> nang, nang, nang. You need a mango nang, like a corn on a cob. I feel like I would burp <laughs> so hard. You'd be covered in melon or juice, rather, not melon. I think, yeah, I think you'd have to keep it to melons. Would you eat? What if it got a billion <laughs> views? Would you eat a honeydew like a like a corn on the yeah, cob? Yeah, you know, I'll lower the threshold. If my video gets <laughs> ten million views, yeah, on TikTok, I'll eat a I'll eat a honeydew. You know, okay. be fun. Take a honeydew. Peel it with a peeler so you just have a sphere of honeydew. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I'm picturing. And yeah. then eat that fun. like a corn on the cob. That'd be fun. Yeah, I've exactly. never seen it like that. Well, that's how a, I cut my should honeydew. Should make a scarecrow. Like a sphere? Well, so I learned this about water. I did this with watermelon too. I shave the... It's more work, sure, but who... I fucking have time. Okay. I'm cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you need more work to do? Because... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this all day. Anyway, no. I So I cut the rind off like that. So then I have like a big... Ball. Piece ball. A ball. Of melon. Wow. I got like a little flat on the bottom <gasps> oh, so it sits straight. Then you make, uh, you forge a giant melon baller out of steel <laughs> <laughs> and make everyone think that it's close up, but then you walk in yeah. and it's like, oh, it's huge. That's not a bad idea. Okay, how sure. about we do so Ned series is going to go, hey, I'm Ned and I'm going to I'm gonna skin a pineapple with a ball like it's a ball. And yeah. then he skins it. And then at the end of the TikTok, he passes it. Can we it say peel instead of skin? Yeah, I thought you were gonna say bald eagle. When and you started, then, I'm gonna skin. skin this pineapple like a bald and it, eagle. And then it, mine begins with me taking it from, you know, it like transitions. Okay. Uh-huh. He like passes okay, yeah. out of frame. And then at the end, you go, my name's Keith and Zach's gonna vomit a whole pineapple into my mouth. Ew. <laughs> Ew. In my mouth. Red flag. Gonna be like over my naked body. No or second something. date for you. I think you got to expedite this pineapple. Video I'm trying idea. to think of a. Th- what's the third? Cop? I eat the skins. <sighs> oh, god. oh, the spiky pineapple skins. <laughs> oh god. Oh. I'll blend them up. That'd be fine. Blend them up. You would really have to be? purify them. Yeah, so. it would have to liquefy them. <laughs> yeah, you have to. And then drink the little thorns. I get the sense that oh. it would just rip your butthole apart, but I don't know that. The digestive tract is pretty strong. What think, is it? I think you just take the core and make it like a giant necklace. Yeah, nice. like a pendant. I could suck on it. <laughs> yeah, you could do it with a fish. When you're bored, you can eat suck a fish on like it. a corn on the cob. Eat everything. Eat like, a fish. Eat everything. Like oh, corn I pictured cob. like a live, like a no, goldfish. Oh I'm like, that's horrifying. God, no, like a branzino. I'm gonna eat a branzino like a corn on the cob. Yeah. Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm gonna eat a branzino like a corn so on the cob. Bones. Then you just get into it, and again, it's a 10 minute video. <laughs> Did you get to that point as a kid where you're like, I only need one corn holder. I'm a fucking badass. I never had corn holders. You never had corn holders. These are my corn holders. You right use your hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, corn holders are the best. I I didn't ever see a corn holder until I was like 17. Oh, they're so funny. 
And the idea, the fact that we had a corn holder part right. of our drawer, and they look like corn. <laughs> They're little mini Some corn. Of them yeah, like why did we have corn holder parts of it? Like, how often do you eat corn? <laughs> Not often on the cob. They yeah. have a separate part of your drawer with the corn <laughs> yeah. holder. What's crazy is I we also ate a lot up. of corn on the cob. Like, I'm t- in the summer, we oh. probably have corn on the cob every night because we lived in a town that yeah. had corn mm-hmm. oh. and like. The, oh, it's fresh, they went to our church cheap. and they would bring excess corn. Oh, like yeah. corn was just, yeah. there was corn. Yeah, I love corn. I, should we get your parents some like really nice corn? Oh, oh, oh Mount Rainier that. doesn't erupt. Yeah. <laughs> was that this episode? I, no, it was the other episode. Was the it's you a know what joke I wanted to say in that episode, but I never got a chance. Is, it's that? funny. I've never seen Mount Rainier and Rainy in the same room. Do you think she's the <laughs> human embodiment of Mount Rainier? <laughs> I just think she is, they are the same. Oh, yeah. Let's One have a moment of silence for that joke. We're also worried that Rainy's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now I hope you're Rainy. happy no, because no. now that's the line that we sat with. <laughs> that's the silence line. Where is Rainy? Oh, boy. She's working from home. Mm, I miss so her. She, I mean, yeah. she used to hang out I like her here. calming presence. She used to hang out here. Yeah, yeah. we prefer. I mean, She's no, we, cool. all, we just also enjoy her. She has great she rocks. questions. No, 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 no. I was thinking about it. I think next week she'll come in and she be. She has great questions. I was uh, thinking about because I wanted to do Rainy Day Thoughts again. She's yeah. got a lot of great thoughts yeah i also want to send her to like comic-con and we can have her live on the scene yeah <laughs> just send her <laughs> send her to whole foods send her to freaking anywhere send her to the grove live exactly live news from the grove with rainy and she sort of calls in just a regular old tuesday here at the grove she's interviewing people hey do you want to be in a podcast and she just sort of gets the word on the street and then she gives him a little blue she says put this earpiece in they put the earpiece in and they talk into the phone I think that's what if a good use Rainy of time. interviewed people in a way that made it seem like she would like ask people was like, "Do you like like Harry Styles? Yeah. What would you do if you could meet Harry Styles right now and make it seem like <laughs> we're gonna surprise people with Harry Styles?" We said, "Cool. Thanks for your time. <laughs> cool. Thanks. These are the Try Guys. Do you know who they are? They were really popular on the internet in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> they also like Harry Styles. Uh, Dumb jokes are funny because uh, they hurt. Yeah. <laughs> We were popular in 2017. You're obviously still popular, but I also do. I used to love watching you when I was 12. Yeah, I I will say when I I tell people where I work and they're like, oh, I I haven't heard of that. I go, have you? Did you watch a YouTube video in 2015? You know who they are. (laughs) Yeah. You You know know what upsets me? So there's a whole Mm. subgenre of comment commenter YouTubes who like to dunk on the BuzzFeed era of the internet. Oh, really? And and I mean, it's not like their only thing, but they like Mm -hmm. okay. Subgenre of people who make videos being mean about stuff. Right. And then they'll make videos about mm-hmm. like BuzzFeed bad and they'll use us in the thumbnail. And I get like, I'm kind of a masochist. So I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. here we fucking go. <laughs> like what you got? And I watched a new one yesterday. I was real excited. And then they like get to the part of us mm-hmm. and like, and there are things that people liked, like the Try Guys. They were pretty popular. Yeah. Moving on to this video. That's like, uh, I'm like, roast me, you coward. <laughs> You're talking about Casey. I think it's Casey Ayanzo. Maybe we bleep that. Was that the video? She's a girl? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's a girl? <laughs> She She's is a girl. A in the girl. Thumbnail. It was well, about- I watched that too because I was like, I also am curious. I'm like, are they going to talk shit about the boys? And then they never do. Because <laughs> I'm like, I could, man, I could do a better job of man. ripping us apart. <laughs> Why don't, that's a pretty good video. Try guys dunk on themselves. Try yeah. guys roast themselves. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. I pitched this to our team, to, to Rachel and Nick, and they were not for it. <laughs> I wanted to do the roast of the Try Guys and do like oh, fuck a yeah. full yeah. fucking roast. Yes. And then I was like, we could do four episodes, the roast of Keith Haversberger, yeah. the yeah. roast of Ned yeah. Fulmer, and like bring in comedians uh-huh. and our friends and like all like do, you know, it could be a 30 minute yeah. hour long ho- roast of each of us. Yeah. And they were like, roasts are really mean and they make me uncomfortable. And what if we make someone makes a joke that actually hurts someone's feelings? And I'm like, Good. that's the point. They will. Yeah, they, yeah, will. they will. Yeah. I don't know. I was like, I think this is a really good idea. I think it's a great yeah. idea. Uh, I think it's a pretty good idea. We've yeah. already roasted each other's socias, baby. That's what I'm saying. I think that a roast pretty is a fun. really funny idea. I know. You're... you're you know, I obviously you're, have lots you're of material. Jumping at the, the <laughs> bit. Jumping at the bit. And the good thing about a roast too is that at the end. Let me just minimize this long document. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at the end, then the person who's getting roasted gets to fucking blast you everyone get to, else. You get yeah, to. exactly. And the whole point of a roast is it's like you guys are pretty successful. It's okay. We make fun of you. Yeah. 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 You're supposed to. The roast is because you're supposed <laughs> to take people down a peg. Yeah. Yeah. With With love. A lot of YouTubers have done that and really poorly. <laughs> And I think we could do it less poorly. Less poorly. I think so too. <laughs> live studio audience. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, live studio audience. Yeah, really I think fun. it could be a live show. That's dangerous, but that's, that's a little it. more dangerous. Uh, well, and then I was wondering, <laughs> like, do you want to do it the roast of the Try Guys or do you want to do it the roast of Keith? Because oh. uh, yeah, I don't know. 
if it's of Keith, you guys get to do it too. Yes. Right. Yeah. Which and I think fun. that's the best. I think that's what people want to see. Yeah. It's just really hard when the, you know, mine gets the least amount of views. <laughs> <laughs> Good roast. Wow. That, that would hurt the most. The only thing that hurts more than getting roasted is people not watching your roast. Not caring to how bad you get roasted. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> it would have to be mean though for it to work. So it really yeah, it has to, it has to at least T- toe the line. That's the yeah. line. Because it can't be like we cut all the stuff that's really mean. Yeah, no. no, it has to be mean. And and I think, you know, we have to, we gotta, we gotta, we, you know, maybe clear some stuff by each other to be like, is this one too yeah. no, no way. No, I think you just clear cut, the cut them out if they if they were yeah, actually too You just too cut much. them out if they are The too ones personal. across the line you cut out, the ones that toe the line you keep in. Yeah, there you go. I'm ex- I love writing jokes. I would write jokes for everybody <laughs> and just hand them out. Here you go. <laughs> you let loose. Yeah. Uh, I, so going back just a, a moment, we are often like people coming up to us and being like, oh, I used to watch you in middle school and how that makes us feel old. But recently I realized this is a really good thing because all these people have these strong childhood memories with us. And as we continue to get older, they also get older and they start having jobs because we often complain that uh, while we ask for pictures, nobody gives us free stuff. Well, it's about to change, boys, because I went to a museum <laughs> yesterday and I got into a free a thing you're supposed to pay more for for free because the four people working the door <gasps> all knew me. So they didn't have to get anyone else's approval. The whole team working wow. that entire section was like, do you want to come in and do this? I was like, oh, I don't know. I was like, yeah, we'll just comp you in. Just come in and do it. It'll be fun. I'm like, okay, cool. So like that was, and that was the people being like, I used to, you know, I watched you all the time growing up. I love your videos. I still watch you. Mm. But it's about the tide is going to turn here. So soon. if you're listening and in 10 years, we can be the backstreet boys where we got the nostalgia, uh, Vegas residency. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I would Ooh. love to do a Vegas residency and we'll just tell jokes from, our, we'll just do quotes from old videos. <laughs> You do have the clitoris for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, playing the hits, yeah. baby. Uh, so if you're listening and mm-hmm. want to give us some dope free perks, we'll take them. Yeah, oh, if, we, yeah. if you're working at a bar and you see one of us come in, yes, we want a free burger. We want a free beer. We <laughs> want it. Things can get out of control sometimes, can't they, folks? And you need guidance. Some might even say advice. And we got some for you. It's coming from the old dog. It always comes from. He's ready. It's going to go for miles, kilometers even. He's going to come over here soon. going to sing an original tune for you. Oh. Advice will go for miles. Miles Monsignore. Hit it. Yeah. Sitting in your car, baby, let me see them thighs. Me and you are gonna go to GameStop, see what they've got on sale. I'm gonna buy you merch. <laughs> me and you are gonna get an action figure. Maybe of Daredevil or Punisher. Yeah. Uh, start a start a fire in the store, make it riot, punch a police officer and freak out. Yeah. Go miles. Yeah. <laughs> Go miles. Yeah. Get arrested for arson. Yeah. Which runs the chorus? <laughs> Burn down a fire hydrant! <laughs> Thanks, Chicago! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo! What's up, Miles Nation? How's everybody fucking rocking tonight? Yeehaw! Yeah! Uh, Have you ever wanted <laughs> <laughs> what Ned? I can't make it's a so sex funny. noise on the podcast. It's Everybody so has funny. sex. I was just imagining <laughs> Not everybody. I was just I was behind a weird celibacy car the other day. Imagining all the fans in their cars listening to this, just out of nowhere, just a little a so, tiny. Uh, I'll a do tiny you one moan. worse. A lot of people are at work right now. <laughs> yeah, if you're listening to this at work on speaker. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, 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 oh <laughs> that one I'm going to believe. <laughs> Keith yeah. made one that was a little too far. <laughs> Maybe a little too horny. So you're saying if we do a lot of those yeah. per the Kirby app, you won't believe them. <laughs> yeah, there's too many to cut around. Uh, Kirby got no like, choice. This is too funny not to keep. No way but... he's cutting out his own segment. Yeah. Fill it with. <laughs> fill it with. Uh, yeah anyway my advice to you (laughs) is wondering if you've ever been (laughs) glad bags trash bags have you ever (laughs) wanted to have a shiny little life jesus (laughs) maybe like steel steel like polish it wasn't me it was keith <laughs> Have you ever wanted a sauce? <laughs> oh my god. Sack! It's not me. <laughs> to be gone. Sauce to be gone? You wanted it. Sauce to be gone. Ba da ba ba ba. Bounty paper towels. I'm loving it. I believe in name brown paper towels. <laughs> I think that's sponsored. Not sponsored, but Bounty, what's up? (laughs) Bounty, I don't know. Bounty, reach out to Cadence. I can't believe we don't haven't had someone sponsor your segment. I think I'm too dumb. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe like Skillshare or something. It really is. Right? Shoe fits the glove. Do you want to learn how to use a (laughs) photo camera? You want to learn how to bone better? Take my skills, Jeff. Oh, my God. But no, I believe that... Not even Bounty. Fuck Bounty. Well, take, well whoa. I don't guess not. Up. Up guess right. They were, on, they they were, were the dialing. Floor. They were dialing us. I just think that one thing... I don't believe in name brown everything. Name brown yeah. everything. But if you're like a drugstore and there's the ibuprofen and there's a Rite Aid brand and the regular brand, get the Rite Aid brand. It's the same shit. But yeah. if you're at a, a grocery store, the Bounty paper towels... That's a great point. Paper towels, they're not the same stuff. They're, they're not, not the same, the same. Same stuff. Toilet, Toilet paper, paper ain't the same. Toilet paper towel, not, the not the same, same stuff. Woo, breach. Get the good shit because it is... Be- obviously... I know there's a whole movement to use regular towels instead of paper towels, and I get that. But the government's burning the fucking world down. Get the nice paper towels. Yeah, it's too late. It's too late to avoid climate disaster. Get the regular paper towels. Until we get the corporations Use hand towels for when you wash your hands, but if you need to clean something off the counter. You can use both. With sauce, you can use both. both. It's good. It's fine. You you ever think about that, like, instead of an office, we could have just all bought a dope-ass mansion living together? Yeah. And then we could see each other every day. <laughs> every freaking day. You live like a gamer house. <laughs> I do think it's not a bad idea for us to look at, like, when we're older, just getting a compound. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Just buy seven houses together oh, that'd and be, be like, cool. we just live next to it. Just make it easy. Just, like, put all your friends in the same neighborhood. <laughs> make, basically buy up all the houses in your and on a cul-de-sac and make it a compound. I've been applying to live in content houses. Me and Sarah are going to. You have? <laughs> That'd be very yeah, funny. That'd, be, that'd funny. be a good documentary. I think it'd be fun for like the summer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sarah I mean, would obviously pool, never do this. You get a pool. Yeah. And just to like see what the lifestyle is like. But but someone's going to prank you every fucking morning. Yeah. You're going to have flower crazy. poured on your That's face. That's why you need Viking yeah. hair. Nobody fucks with that. <laughs> yeah, scorpions drop down your pants. Yeah. It's like super size me, but it's, you call it hype me up. And it's your summer not in the high house, high house, and you see like how it changes who you are. Yeah, you know how like people go to like, <laughs> well, you know how people in, like they put themselves undercover as reporters in like situations. Then they get in too deep, they forget who they are. Yeah, that's I also I'm though I feel mm. like you're a little too prone to to like it. I want a John Hodgman type to yeah. like really see how far we can train someone's personality. I'd buy in for sure. Okay, because I feel like you'd have to to. Like it's like um, Hegel, the philosopher, once said that in order to truly believe the thing that you believe, you have to believe the complete. Miles, opposite. I'm going to stop you right yeah, there. Sorry, we are out of time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we do have to wrap this up. Yep, absolutely. Thank Thanks you for listening, so everybody. much for listening mm-hmm. to the episode. Keith, hit us with the official tripod theme song. <laughs> hey, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that we have sex with birds, but we don't have sex with no. birds. No, we definitely don't. We don't no. have sex with birds. We don't have sex with birds. I'm Beats. being serious. We don't have sex with birds. That'd be Beats. absurd. It is the tripod. Until next time, stay beautiful.